Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video I'm about to show you how you can fix uh, launching, crashing, freezing, and black screen issues in Resident Evil 4. Excuse me, I'm gonna share with you what I have tested myself and it worked for me. I hope it's gonna work for you as well, guys. Just uh, make sure you try all the methods. Initially, there's only one method that worked for me. And yeah, just make sure you try and I hope it's gonna work for you so you can enjoy the game. I know it's very painful and very annoying for shading because you have to look for ways to fix the problem instead of just playing the game. So I really hope guys it's gonna work for you. Make sure you leave your results in the comment section. And you can also, you know, uh, chat with me on Discord. I'll try to help you on Discord as well. I really hope you can enjoy the game. So let's jump right in the video. Now the first method, and that's the one that worked for me, is to head over to the links in the description I'll leave for this website. I have here five. And you have to ensure that you have installed DirectX End User Runtime Web Install. This is what you need to run pretty much any games that require this and make sure you click on download and the process is very easy to install DirectX just click on the download button click on save click on here yes agree uncheck this click on next but already have installed it and now the next one is also you have to ensure that you have Microsoft Visual C++ so make sure you click on this link and download Microsoft Visual C++ wait for the installation to complete also as I said I'll repeat myself but you can also talk with me on Discord I'll really try my best to help you I really want you to enjoy the game you know instead of looking for ways to fix the problem I know it's very annoying it's one of the things that I hate the most when I want to play a game and I can't because I have to fix the errors or problems <laughs> instead of playing it. I think that's very annoying. Click on the open this link uh, this uh, and just click on the install. I already have it on my computer. And you also if you, you need GeForce experience you have uh, GeForce car I have GeForce experience installed and click on settings and here if you have a GeForce Experience card, I have the 3050, this is just a laptop, I don't use it to play any games, pretty much, just few. Anyways, uh, just make sure you turn in game overlay, this can uh, interfere with the game and cause crashing, turn this off, go to drivers, click on check for updates, and then if there's an update available, click on download. And also, if you have AMD uh, CPU, make sure you click on download, for Intel, click on download, and another way that I discovered a long time ago, but really saved me a lot of time, and I think it's a great way to check if there's any driver updates available, instead of look to going here, because a lot of toys showing you to update your drivers from here, but it never worked for me. I never, if I click on driver updates, all it says that I have the best driver, but there wasn't any situation where I click here and it found the new driver and it updated never so what you can do guys is head over to a driver updates advanced options and here optional updates and here you should see in driver updates a huge list of driver updates available for you to download and install just check this box click on download and install for me this driver updates list was just huge around 20 updates uh, drivers available for me to install so make sure you have this installed because uh, I know I have, I'm not a professional by any means, but I think this like uh, launching, crashing, and freezing is related to driver updates and, and, and nothing else, just driver. Up. Now, obviously, you might you can correct me. I maybe are wrong. I don't know, but I'm just sharing with you uh, some of the things I some of the things I know and I learned, and I hope it's gonna work. And I hope now you can enjoy the game. Thank you guys so much, also for watching, and also make sure you. Um, you restart your computer to ensure the changes take effect. It's very important. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. Take care.